Good morning. I came across a fascinating story recently about a man named Tim and his wife, Deb. Tim and Deb Hennessy. They were down in Texas when this terrible storm was about to hit. And like many of us, they were feeling the need to go to the store to try to get whatever groceries and supplies they may need because the storm was starting to happen and they didn't know how bad it was going to get or how long it would last. And so they headed to their local HEB grocery store. They live in Leander. Well, they got there, and when they got there, <clears throat> there was already a long line of people outside, you know, trying to get in. Parking lot was full, and they even thought to themselves, oh my goodness, is this going to be worth it? But they needed the supplies. So they parked the car, and they went on up. They managed to get on into the grocery store, got themselves a cart, and they'd been shopping probably about 15 minutes when suddenly the lights flickered, and then they went out. And you could just hear this groan across the grocery store. Oh my goodness, what's this going to mean? Are the lights going to come back on? How are they going to check us out? Well, they continued to shop for a few more minutes. And just a little while had gone by when finally an announcement came over the speaker system. It said, we need you to please proceed to the front. And he thought, now we're going to get up here and they're just, we're going to drop off our baskets and they're all going to apologize. Nothing they can do. They can't check us out. Employees will put the items back. There were several hundred people here in this store. And everybody starts moving towards the front, pushing their baskets. And suddenly he realizes that the cashier isn't checking people out or bagging their groceries. They're just simply waving the people on through. He thought, well, I know they're not going to be giving us the groceries. Surely they're going to be trying to take people's names, get addresses, phone numbers, contact information. No. No, they just kept bringing them right on through. And so these people with all these groceries in their baskets literally were being told to leave the store and you get it all for free. I mean, they were stunned. They couldn't believe it. What an act of generosity in such a critical moment in time. They got outside and, of course, it was already icy and people were struggling. And he said the neatest thing happened. Suddenly, people started helping one another. You could see people struggling, trying to get their baskets pushed. People stopped to help one another get their basket pushed over to their car and not fall down. Then they would help people unload their groceries into their car because there were no bags that were all done. You're just unloading everything individually. And people were just helping each other. There's an elderly lady who was in her car with her goods and was trying to leave, and her tires were just spinning on the ice. Immediately, you had four or five people over there all pushing to help get the car going. Got her on her way. There was a man who came by and diapers were falling out of his basket. And people saw what was happening and people came along behind and were picking everything up. He was going to the far side of the parking lot and they helped gather up all these things that were falling out of the basket and helped to get him in his car. Everybody was just helping one another in the kindest of ways. And when... Tim and Deb got in their car and started driving home. They started thinking about what they had just witnessed. How in a moment of great need, you had this chain store step up and say, just take it for free. And then all the people who started saying, let's just help one another in this moment. No one was anxious. No one was upset. Everybody just helped one another. They really had seen humanity at its best. A moment when people really remembered we're here to love one another. And they had done it. When Tim and Deb got home, they started thinking about how blessed they had been, and they made a decision. They decided to write a check to the local food bank for the approximate value of the groceries that they had just received, and to write another check to a faith center, a faith-based retreat center near them, again, to help give the money to pass it on. That night, he posted it on Facebook, what he had seen with all these people and what HEB did. He was sharing it with a few friends. He had no idea when he got up the next morning. It had gone viral, literally across the nation and the world, people seeing kindness from a large corporation and kindness from individual to individual. When I saw the story and what was going on, it reminded me, you know, when you and I see a need and we choose to bless somebody else, Three things happen. One, you bless that individual. Two, 
you come away with an incredible good feeling in being blessed. But three, you inspire others. You help to create a ripple effect that goes on and on. Today, go out and love your neighbor and remember to pass it on. Have a great day.